Hello everyone, Aditya here from JH Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss about the credit management. In this, we have maintain credit control area that is OB45. We'll start with that and uh, we'll do the configurations required for credit management. Basically, for uh, customers to give a credit, uh, this credit management will be of great help. In fact, like this is the base on which we can uh, provide the uh, credit credit to a customer like uh, there there will be you can give the services and uh, give the services or products up to a certain extent of cost so if let's let's say if a customer is eligible for up, up to 10 lakhs of rupees of uh, uh, you know services or products you can give up to it without money so that is and based on the customers uh, you know uh, rapo we are going to decide how much credit limit uh, we are going to have for each customer so let's go go first to the transaction group ob45 ob45 so in the ob45 we'll go for credit con credit control area uh, we'll create we'll create the credit control as ghin and currency is inr and update no update from documents and fiscal year variant uh, we will give the fiscal year variant as uh, jh and uh, we'll just save it Now you have successfully saved this uh, credit control area and uh, once we create a credit control area we can also mention the risk management credit limit. Credit limit is like you know let's say we can give up to something like you know uh, something like 10 lakhs okay just save and then we have assigned company code to credit control area OB38. So we'll go to the OB38 now. And in this, I will go for position JHIN. And for this, the credit control area is also JHIN. Save. Say OK. And then we'll go ahead with the define credit credit risk categories OB01. So credit risk category credit risk category OB01. OB01. Credit risk categories. So we'll go for new entries and then we have credit test categories uh, say something like 555 and credit control area is JHIN and name is JHS Infotech credit category so just say save say ok now what we had going to do is define accounting clerk groups uh, accounting clerk groups OB02 OB02 OB02. So then we have defined accounting clerk groups, credit representative groups, OB02. So okay, let's go for that and uh, we'll go for, obviously we'll not have any uh, any details, uh, we, we, we will not have any entries for this because we have not created yet. So we'll give credit, credit control group, we'll give it as JHI because we'll give it, uh, we can give only three letters here. So JHIN. So this is JHIN control group say ok save and then we have something like define credit representatives uh, assign employee to credit, repre credit, uh, credit representative groups OB51 so we'll be back OB51 We will have defined credit representatives. We have to assign an employee to credit credit, credit representative groups. We'll take OB51. So in this, we'll go for new entries, new entries. And this credit representative, we have all these uh, credit representative IDs. So we have JHI. Select that and uh, function and name of the person, person's number, function and all these things we can give, say enter, so function 
as of now we are keeping it blank because uh, we don't want to assign it to a particular person so if we keep it blank it will be like mm, you can assign it to anyone so i'm just saving it back but later point of time in the in the real time whenever we give the person's number or function key and person's number automatically their details will come here so we need to configure those things and then we can put it here for the communication so now here we have define intervals for days in areas for credit management ob39 so ob39 so how many days we can give the credit that also have to be entered so in the in the first step we assign how much amount we can assign and now we are assigning how much time we can uh, go give the credit for okay so now here ob39 so we'll go for ob39 in this new address in this in, in, in initial time say like you know i'll take something like this one new entries now here we'll go for jhin So 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 100 days, 150 days. These are the you know maximum days that we have cash discount. Just save back. So these are the things that we have. These are the things that we have in the credit management. Back. And that's that's it. Now we are going to go ahead with the asset accounting. Asset accounting is what we have to, you know, uh, do it in the next uh, video. The next video will have the asset accounting details. So this is something which is the end of the accounts receivable uh, configurations.